today is all about corn. Corn, I'm gonna give you an earful about corn. Today's episode is sponsored by GE Appliances. Thank you so much for our gorgeous kitchen and also all the small wares that you see in this episode, making the recipes easy and delicious to prepare. We're gonna start today's episode with these gorgeous fluffy hoe cakes topped with an irresistible sweet corn compound butter. Then we're moving on to a summertime salad that celebrates the sweet pop of corn and finish the day with matcha pizza. Makchu, I chew, you chew, we all chew makchu. That's all I have to say. Let's get started making hoe cakes. Do you know what a hoe cake is? Where I grew up, we call them hoe cakes. And it's because they used to be cooked on a hoe. Mm -mm, like a garden hoe. A hoe cake is essentially like a corn pancake. It's a griddle cake. Sometimes they're called Johnny cakes. Sometimes they're called corn griddle cakes. I need my griddle to start getting hot so it can start heating up, because this griddle it's large, it's in charge, and it's gonna make hoe cakes. No, there's no crickets. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of what rhymes with a hoe cake. No, we're making mo cakes on this griddle. Boom, because it's so big. Took a minute, but I got there. Took a minute, but I got there. It's gonna start with one cup of flour, and then we're gonna add in the cornmeal that I found at the farmer's market. And you see there's some blue corn in there and some yellow corn. So we're gonna get some little speckles in there. One cup of cornmeal, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. That's gonna make these nice and fluffy and give you the lift that you want from that cornmeal, which is kind of dense. Two tablespoons of sugar and then a teaspoon of salt. And then one cup of fresh corn. I'm gonna give that a whisk. So for our wet ingredients, it all starts with sour cream. This is three quarters of a cup of sour cream. You could use yogurt, you could use milk, you could use buttermilk. Half a cup of water, then a quarter cup of coconut oil, or whatever kind of oil you wanna use. Butter is fine, vegetable oil is great. Two eggs, whisk that all up. At what point in this episode do you think something's gonna end up on this apron? Let me know in the comments below and while you're down there, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that would be lovely or giving us a comment or a little like. That's so, so appreciated. Okay, so now, wet into dry. And then let's stir and fold. At first you're a little vigorous and then you fold more. All right, so now I'm using a portion scoop. The scoop just makes everything the exact same size so they cook evenly in the same amount of time, but also it helps with your shape. See how like, they're like nice little pretty babies. You're just gonna let these cook until you start to see little bubbles pop through and stay. That means that your gorgeous batter is cooking up. When you flip, you wanna be a little bit gentle so that you don't deflate all of the leavening that you've gotten from that baking powder. Oh yeah, they're ready. Okay, we gotta move fast, don't worry about it. Ready, one, two, three. See how I kind of like let it come over? Let's see if this guy's, are you ready? He's ready, don't worry about it. Oh yeah. Y'all, usually I get at least one ugly one. It's like when you're making pancakes and one of them is burnt, the first one getting your griddle to the right temp, but I'm having all success today. Cook those for about another one to two minutes on that side and you're done. Let's make some compound butter. To go with our hoe cakes, we're gonna make a sweet corn and chive compound butter. Starts with one pound of softened butter. Just put that into your stand mixer. Give it a mix, just to start to incorporate in a little bit of air. And make sure it's nice and smooth before we start adding in any other ingredients. Okay, turn that off. To that, we're gonna add in a half a cup of corn. We're also putting in three tablespoons of brown sugar, quarter cup of chopped chives, and then the zest of one lime. The combination of corn and lime go great together. It looks so good. And that's it, we're done. There's almost no work at all. Looky here, y'all. 
I sprinkle the top of my compound butter with just a little bit of salt before I store it. And then I say the best way to taste it is on the hoe cakes that we made the butter for. We have corn in the butter, we have fresh corn in the hoe cakes, but we also have that Kentucky grown cornmeal. Mm. It's so good. Because we chopped up that corn so fine before we added it to the butter, you're getting a lot of the like corn milk that's now attached to the butter. So the whole thing tastes like creamy, creamy corn with fresh chives and a little extra sweet because of that brown sugar. Do you think we got it? Do you think we got it? Do you think we got it? If I don't stop eating, I'm gonna be too full to make a salad, which I know you think might sound like boo, a salad, but not this salad. This salad is so delicious, you are going to crave it every single day, and it all starts with bourbon ranch dressing. What is ranch dressing with a little bit of bourbon in there? Hello, you have sour cream, ultra creamy, just a half a cup, and then mayonnaise, half a cup, one quarter cup of buttermilk. Now, other flavorings. We use a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, one and a half teaspoons of lemon juice, and then one teaspoon of salt. Now, those are all of our like creamy, dreamy ingredients, but we also need herbs. So I'm gonna use a third of a cup of picked parsley. That just means the leaves. You don't want any of the stems. I'm gonna put in a little bit of cilantro. Now cilantro, you can add a little bit of the stems in because cilantro, the stems taste just as good as the leaves. And because we're using our immersion blender chopper, it's gonna just pulverize all those little stems. Okay, third of a cup of both of those. And then the main thing are chives, like about four chives, okay? Our herbs go in. If you don't have this little chopper attachment, you can make this by chopping all your herbs, but this attachment just makes my life much, 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 much easier. I need a little bit of pepper, just a pinch. And then bourbon. I put the bourbon in at the end because I don't want it to curdle my ranch. One tablespoon of bourbon. You can absolutely leave it out if you don't like bourbon. But that, I think, is not a great idea. Put the top back on. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. So now that we have our dressing ready, we can set it aside and talk about all of the vegetables that are gonna go into our delicious salad. When I snap my fingers, all of my ingredients are gonna be there. One, two, three. Ta-da! Okay, so whenever you're talking about a salad, you're of course gonna be putting vegetables in. So I'm using iceberg because I love the crunch. I think it's super fresh. But if you don't like iceberg, use romaine or um, use arugula. Whatever you like is what you're gonna put in this salad. The main thing is you have to have corn and you have to have that bourbon ranch, okay? We're gonna make a layered salad. We can do it two ways, right? In this big trifle dish, but you can also <gasps> Build it, hello. And little two cup panning jars. Amazing, Damaris. Okay, so it starts the same either way. We put a little bit of the dressing into the bottom. I think about a fourth of a cup or a half a cup per serving. Now into the bottom of our trifle dish. By putting the dressing on the bottom, it allows you to make this ahead. If you put the dressing on the top, everything gets a little bit mushy. The next layer is iceberg. This is a head of iceberg. It's gonna be roughly six cups of lettuce, so one cup of lettuce per serving. Derek and I go estate sale shopping all the time, and 99% of the time, there is a trifle dish. And sometimes they're really fancy, and I always wanna buy them, but there's only so many trifles you can make. So I've started using mine for layered salads. I do a layered pea salad in a trifle dish that we'll have to show you on the pea episode. What episode would you like to see coming up? Give us an ingredients in the comments below, and while you're down there, why don't you subscribe? We'd love a little like or a comment. It means so much to us when we're bringing you these fun vegetarian recipes and for building a community on YouTube. Thank you. Okay, so lettuce, done. The next layer, we want a little bit of protein, so we're adding in black beans because I think black beans and corn are a match made in heaven. 
If you don't like black beans, you can use another bean. If you don't like beans at all, you can add in nuts or seeds. Those will give you the protein. We're just wanting something that will, will make sure that this salad fills us up. Now, the next thing for our gorgeous salad is the corn. If you are not great at cutting up corn, you can use the little bunt pan trick. You put your corn in the cob in the little hole and then you slice down and that catches all the corn, except for that piece that flew over there. Corn tricks, it's a hack from me to you. I use a bump pen, but not for cake. I use a bump pen to take the kernels off the kaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaiaia
In my oven I have two cast iron skillets heating up right now. I'm gonna use those as my pizza stone. So typically when you make makshu, you add cream to your corn. But I wanna make up a, a sauce, like I want something that's a little bit thicker to go onto the pizza, so I'm using cream cheese. This is six ounces of cream cheese, and then to kind of Louisiana it up, I'm using a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. You just give it a little mix. And then right now this is a little bit thick, right? So we're gonna add in a couple tablespoons of water so that this goes from being cream cheese to a sauce. Okay, so all of our ingredients are ready. Let's build some pizzas. This makes two eight inch pizzas. These are par cooked pizza doughs. You can buy them at the grocery store. You can get them from any of your like local Italian groceries. So half of the sauce goes on to the crust. You just spread it around. I'm gonna use a half a cup of cheese per pizza. This is mozzarella, full fat. And I just put that down over top of my cream cheese sauce. And then I lay the mock shoe on the top of that. So half of my mock shoe. Look at how pretty it is, you all. Little bit of olive oil around the edge, just so the edge tastes delicious. Ooh, a little bit of salt on the crust, just so that crust tastes good, right? So you can see that on a lot of cast iron skillets, the bottom is flat. So because I've heated it up, it's actually gonna work like a pizza stone. It'll hold that heat in and our bottoms are gonna get a little bit crisp because of that. 450 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes until the bottom crust is nice and crisp and the cheese is all melty, ooey, gooey. Ooh. I top with a little bit of green onions and then cut. You got a nice crispy bottom and then creamy, dreamy, ooey, gooey corn magic on the top. Let's take a bite, but be careful. It's probably gonna be hot. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh. We have a beautiful balance of sweet from the corn against the jalapeno's heat. It's so lovely. And then we have this creamy, creamy sauce and a crisp crust. This is all about balance. You know how people are like, life is all about balance. Well, that's what I'm giving you all here. I'm giving you a balanced life of pizza. You're welcome. Ooh, cheese cool. I'm a chin. I gave you corn three ways. Actually, technically, I gave you corn four ways. We started out with fluffy hoe cakes topped with a sweet corn and chive butter. We moved on to a corn summer salad with a bourbon ranch and crispy tortilla chips on the top and finished the day with makshu pizza. It was one of my favorite days of Southern Girl Meets Vegetarian Boy to date. Thank you all so much for joining me and thank you GE Appliances for sponsoring this episode and for the immersion blender with a chopper that made that ranch dressing whip up like a dream. Thanks for watching y'all, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. All in all, today was really, really amazing. People got the joke. No, they don't get the joke. They got the joke. You all, they got the joke. I killed it.